PD Avengers. I'm Larry Gifford, president of PD Avengers. I'm Sonia Mather, co-founder of PD Avengers. And I'm Tim Haig, secretary and treasurer and co-founder of PD Avengers. We have some big news. First off, World Parkinson's Day. Thank you for sharing the spark. Last year at this time, we reached out and had a big letter campaign to the, uh, the UN, the United Nations, and we didn't hear back. So this year, we took it upon ourselves to tell the World Health Organization, the WHO, about the spark. And so here, I'm gonna read you my letter that I sent a week ago. Uh, from the Global Alliance to End Parkinson's Disease, AKA the PD Avengers, to the Director General of the World Health Organization. I have the honor to send this letter on behalf of the Global Alliance to End Parkinson's Disease, an international alliance of people living with the disease, PWP, are 90 plus Parkinson's organizational partners and thousands of members from more than 80 countries standing together to demand change in how this disease is seen and treated. I'm writing to you as we approach the 25th anniversary of World Parkinson's Day. In 1997, the World Health Organization, WHO, and the European Parkinson's Disease Association, EPDA, collectively announced that 11 April, James Parkinson's 1755 birth date, as the annual day to bring urgently needed focused attention to this disease, which afflicts people without prejudice in every continent, regardless of ethnicity, race, color, class, age, gender, and culture. This year, our alliance is launching the website www.worldparkinsonsday.com and a unifying Parkinson's logo, The Spark, to be used by individuals and organizations worldwide to help spark conversation, education, and urgency towards finding ways to stop Parkinson's in its tracks. The World Parkinson's Day logo with The Spark is available in 43 different languages. The World Health Organization, WHO, reports that the global burden of neurological and neurodevelopmental conditions is high, with approximately 70% of the burden in low and middle income countries. Neurological conditions are leading the cause of disability adjusted life years, the DALYSs, and the second leading cause of death globally, accounting for 9 million deaths per year. WHO also declares Parkinson's disease as the world's fastest growing neurological condition. There is no cure. Globally, more than 10 million people have the condition. Many more live with it, but without diagnosis due to the lack of access to a medical professional. Parkinson's is a misunderstood disease, and lack of awareness makes people with Parkinson's vulnerable and discriminated against. People with Parkinson's earn less money, have difficulty obtaining and retaining employment despite qualifications and ability, and often must stop the work as the disease progresses. The symptoms of this disease are pervasive, and PWPs are often stigmatized, mistaken for being intoxicated. I've suffered side effects of medications. I've had bad things happen to me. But at the end of the day, I'm a positive person. So they go into the background of my memory and I tend to focus on the positive things that have happened in my life. And in some countries even considered to be cursed by witches. PWPs often lose their voice, their ability to control their bodies, and in essence, their future. The disease produces whole body disability and impacts PWPs physically, mentally, and emotionally. Additionally, the mainstream drug to help manage Parkinson's is levodopa. This drug was discovered before the crew of the Apollo 11 reached the moon. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. Yet there are thousands of people with Parkinson's living in poverty across the world, sometimes making the brutal choice between food for their family and medication for themselves. With a prescription of levodopa, people with Parkinson's can continue for a time to work, be a partner, a parent, and contribute to society. However, with time, the window of effectiveness for levodopa decreases. Those taking the medication can experience complicated side effects. World Parkinson's Day is on 11 April. Today, the United Nations and the WHO do not recognize it on their websites, calendars, official media releases, or social media channels. We're humbly and respectfully requesting your support and uh, formal recognition of World Parkinson's Day on 11 April. We've included a media release and additional documents which may aid in your participation through social media. Hopefully we can spark a conversation to have World Parkinson's Day formally recognized by the United Nations and the World Health Organization. We also encourage you to join our global alliance of partners and encourage individuals at your organization to join us as we work to add urgency to the cause of ending Parkinson's. Larry Gifford, PD Avengers president, and we listed all the organizations that are 
supporting the spark. And uh, yeah, I thought it was pretty good. And it did capture some attention. It did. It did. In fact, this morning in our inboxes was the response. Dear Mr. Gifford, Mr. Gifford, whoa, Ooh. it's pretty official. Uh, let me thank the Global Alliance to End Parkinson's Disease for raising awareness about Parkinson's disease, the fastest growing neurological condition. Indeed, neurological disorders are the leading cause of disability adjusted life years, dailies, and the second leading cause of death globally. Moreover, the treatment gap for many of these conditions, including Parkinson's disease, is very large, especially in low and middle income countries. In order to address the burden and treatment gap due to neurological conditions, the World Health Assembly asked the WHO sec Secretariat to develop a 10-year intersectoral global action plan on epilepsy and other neurological disorders. I am pleased to inform that the 150th Executive Board discussed the Global Action Plan in January 2022 and recommended to be adopted by the 75th World Health Assembly in May. The goal of the Action Plan is to reduce the stigma, impact, and burden of neurological disorders, including associated mortality, morbidity, and disability, and to improve the quality of life of people with neurological disorders, their carers, and families. In addition, WHO, in collaboration with many stakeholders, including people with lived experience, is finalizing a technical brief on Parkinson's disease, a public health approach to, to be launched shortly. The brief provides overview and guidance on strategies for education and awareness, prevention, access to treatment and care, as well as policy actions for Parkinson's disease. When launched, the brief will be available on this page. We look forward to working together with you and raising aware awareness about neurological conditions, including Parkinson's disease. Best regards, Deborah, Castell, Director, Mental Health and Substance Use Department, World Health Organization. Oh, that is fantastic. Yes. <laughs> a 10-year plan is going to be approved next month to address these neurological conditions. It's amazing. That is fantastic. Now, obviously, this has been in the works. I was part of the, uh, the workshop last spring that the WHL held, held a, a, a for Parkinson's. Uh, and they're talking about consulting people with lived experience. That was because I snuck into the meeting, but uh, we'll, we'll give them that. Uh, and and that, that brief is, is, that we created is also gonna be, uh, we're hoping to get it printed in the Journal of American Medical Association, JAMA. So I'll be looking for that hopefully uh, sooner rather than later. But uh, very exciting news to get that back. And, and it feels like that the, the conversation is just beginning. And it's very important, Larry, that the, the things that are said in this letter that we need to go back and kind of pick out for people here. You know, we often say that Parkinson's is the fastest growing neurological disorder in the world. And people often ask me, where, where do you get that stat? Who says that? Well, the WHO says that. A neurological conditions are the number one cause of disability in the world. People need to understand that this is a serious disease. It is not simply a, tr a tremor. We do have a simple tremor. We do have simple rigidity. We do have simple slowness. We do have simple lo loss of balance. All of those things turn into a simple nightmare when taken together. Mm -hmm. And people need to understand the, the magnitude of what really Parkinson's is. And this goes a long way in explaining that. You're right, Tim, absolutely. And the other thing is that the work is just beginning. You know, WHO will provide a framework, but the work needs to be done. And that's where we all come in as people living with Parkinson's disease, other stakeholders that are, are going to be collaborating with us. We can work, we have to work together in order to get this done. Well, you're so right, Sonia. Larry has said from the beginning, and we have agreed with him, that we have to have a global voice. We have to speak with one voice around the world. And this is a kind of example of what can happen when people with Parkinson's bring our soft, shaky voices together, it turns into a roar. And thank you, Larry, for writing that letter, because this is fantastic. Well, and I, I think what this demonstrates is the importance of having a day like World Parkinson's Day, because it, it forces us to focus on what can we do right now. And even if it's just writing a letter, you can, you can begin to make change. You can, or at least learn what's happening at the higher levels of, of, of the health policies. 
Like that's not, this is the first time this information is being made public and it's through our inquiry by the PD Avengers. So for, for everybody, take this World Parkinson's Day and tell people, educate people, ask questions of, of, of the people in, in, your, in your city, in your country uh, about what's happening there uh, as it relates to Parkinson's disease, or just share your story and raise awareness. Do what you can uh, with the talents that you have and, and you can make a difference. We all have a superpower. You have to figure out what yours is and apply it. Uh, a lot of people ask me, you know, what, what can I do? I mean, I just turn it back on them. I say, what can you do? You can spark the conversation. You can spark the movement. You can spark an end to Parkinson's disease. All right, everybody get their spark out. Go to worldparkinsonday.com. Uh, and it's not just a one day spark. This spark's gonna last all year long. You know, we're not allowed to give up Parkinson's so neither can the spark. So the spark must remain lit all year long. So have fun with it, enjoy it. And uh, thanks for everybody's uh, support to the PD Avengers. And if you want to sign up to be a PD Avenger, just go to pdavengers.com.